Today we are going to deal with community and skills. I am Mr. Sanders in Kelly, lecturer, IMPA, and Bauman. Uh, in the first place, I want us to look at the course outline for this term. Topics on the course are uh, subject verb agreement, the three tenses of verbs in English, the three degrees of comparison, correcting double comparisons, and irregular comparisons. In well, the first place, I want to also have a look at the first topic, topic one, which is subject verb agreement. Introduction. Well, number refers to a form of a word that indicates whether it is singular or plural. What I mean, when a verb is a singular verb, if a subject is singular, a subject should go with a singular verb. When a subject is a plural verb, a subject it should go with a plural verb. That's what I mean. A number refers to the form of the word that indicates whether it is singular or plural. A verb must agree with its, num with its subject in a, num in a number. Similar subjects indicate one and require a similar verb. Plural subjects indicate more than one and require a plural verb. With most regular and similar verbs, regular verbs, Add S to the singular or ES. For example, a singular, the author writes author. Author is a singular subject. Writes is a singular verb. The boy plays. The boy is a singular subject. Please is a singular verb. In other round, the plural for author should be authors and the verb should be right. The boy, plural should be boys and the plural verb there should be play. So in other words, the author without, without the S is singular and the S with the right is singular. The boy without the S is singular and the plays with the S of the place is similar. Plural, the authors write, the boys play. An exception to the rule occurs with the pronouns I and you. Both take the plural form of the verb, even when you refers to one person. If I say you, it can be you plural, it can be you similar. I hope you understand. Now, I want us to look at these following uh, sentences here now. He goes, he go to the park uh, twice a week. He goes, he go to the park at least twice a week. In this sentence, there are two verbs. One is a singular and one is a plural. Goes and go. So the subject there is he. Therefore, he goes to the park at least twice a week. We call it the same the subject is similar. He. My earrings, the verbs there are is and are. Good. My earrings, earrings is a plural subject. Therefore, the, the subject, the, the, the verb there should be are. The plants, the plants, plural subject, the plants, plural subject. Leans or lean, these are two, so, two verbs in that, in the, in the, in the, that we are dealing with. The plants, lean or leans toward the light. This, the correct verb to use in that sentence should be the plants, subject, which is plural, lean. The verb should be plural toward the light. Another, another example, you, the verbs the verb there are have and as. As, have and as. You have not seen anything yet. You cannot say you has, which should be you have, because you refers to the plural. Therefore, the plural verb should be have. Fruits. 
Flutes play or plays beautiful music. Flutes is a plural subject. Play or plays. The verbs there, you should choose either play or plays. The correct verb should be play. Flutes play beautiful music. Flutes and the subject either plural subject. Children wait or wait. These two verbs, either wait or wait, the correct verb should be children wait at the corner for the bus. Why? Because children is a plural subject and wait is a plural verb. The man and his dog sleeps or sleep in the open market. The man and his dog, the man is being connected by conjunction to his dog. Therefore, it has formed a plural subject. Therefore, you should see this, the verb there should be sleep. The man and his dog sleep in the open market. In other words, the boy with his pet, the verbs there are, are and is. Well, the difference between this and the, the previous one, the boy with his pet is a single verb, the subject. The subject is because the man, the boy with his pet, the boy is going with his pet. It is the boy that is running, not the pet. Therefore, the boy with his pet is running, should be is, not are. It's different from the man and his dog. James, James's brothers walk or works for a big farm. James's brother, brothers work. Brothers work or works. Brothers are brothers, the word brothers, plural subjects. Therefore, should be James's brothers work for a big farm. Does or do girls need food? Does or do girls need food? Girls is what? Is a plural subject. Therefore, do the girls need food? You cannot say does the girl need food. That's I hope you read this and then answer go according to what has been lectured. Then um, we move on to topic two, which is the six tenses of verb in English. These six tenses of verb in English form and help to show time. Present tense, past tense, future tense, present perfect tense, past perfect tense, and future perfect tense. In English, Today we're going to deal with the present tense. Today's lecture we we'll deal with the present tense. The present tense expresses a constant, repeated, or habitual action or condition. It can also express the general truth. Example: Mary X, her mother, every day to clean the house. Constant and repeated because it is constant and repeated because she has mother every day in the house. So present tense, constant and repeated. Another example, river Seva flows into the Moa River. Always habitual action. And the word, this word is not, you cannot refer to at all. It should be always, always. The pronunciation is always. Not always, always. Habitual and habitual action. Then the next, the, the next example should be, the sun rises from the east and set to the west. General truth, present tense. Of course, it's a general truth. The present tense can also express an action or a condition that exists only now. Example, Suzanne has a headache. Only now, not always, but just now. The present tense is sometimes used in historical writing to express past events and more often in poetry, fiction and journalism, especially in sport writing to convey to the reader a sense of being there. This usage is sometimes called the historical present tense. Example, though he is aware of the danger in him, the man decides to risk his life to save his son. Practice. I want also, I want you to do this as an assignment. 
write a sentence using each of the following verb forms. The content of their sentence should express the kind of present tense indicated in the bracket. This is an assignment for you and I would like to have this within three, three days. Equals, in bracket we have general truth. Write a sentence using each of the following with verb forms. The content of the, their sentences should express the kind of present tense indicated in the bracket. Equals, general truth. Works, a repeated or habitual action. See, at this very moment. Work, repeated or habitual action. How, generally truth. Feels, not always but just now. Begins, an event in history. Wears, a constant action. Is, at this very moment. Please, repeated or habitual action. This assignment should be submitted within three days. Okay, that ends the lecture for today, and I'll see you in this class. But before seeing you, please, I would like to receive the assignment before ever we commence the next class. Thank you very much.